guys, welcome to another episode of Storm Group TV. Today we're gonna challenge um, LP Smartside and James Hardy for the ultimate test, bullet test, how these two guys will handle it. So first thing first, let me introduce you. LP Smartside and uh, James Hardy, Hardy board, Hardy playing, been around for years now. And um, both of them have uh, some problems in the past, some of them even have claims against them, but they really redesigned their products and today we firmly believe this guys are really one of the best products on the market. However, LP Smart Side recently started coming after James Hardy guys or Fiber Cement, they don't call them uh, you know by name for legal purposes and I think we can do it. We're installers, we install both products, we're not biased, we're not getting paid by anyone. And we really want to challenge uh, LP uh, puncture test. You've seen a lot of commercials, probably, you know, guys on the horses and, you know, like bullet, like a whole bunch of stuff, bolts thrown at the siding. Well, the reality is how truly important um, durable siding, it's very important, but how relevant those tests, those commercials, if you make a decision. So our job is to help you, educate you to make a decision towards the product you install in the house and if you're really concerned about uh, bulletproof or puncture test or how durable the product is this video is for you so LP smart side is engineered wood James Hardy it's a you know cement fiber product uh, engineered together so you can see that James Hardy is a little bit thinner than LP so we have 20 boards here and 20 boards here and you can see the thickness of James Hardy is much you know less so according to LP they're the strongest they have the strongest boards on the market so what we decided to do we decided to challenge it we decided to put nine millimeter bullet pretty much shoot these two guys and see how many boards does it take to stop the bullet but this is not a real life task you'll never have 20 pieces together and anything happening to it so on top of that second part of the task will be we build these walls so pretty much this is your wall in the house the one you have uh, you have a drywall on the inside you have insulation you have your half inch osb board and you have a product outside in this case this is uh, lp smart side in this case it's james hardy so we build 10 of each and we want to show you how nine millimeter bullet goes through it and how many walls does it take to stop the bullet so let's get it started okay guys so you've seen probably a lot of tests on tv lp recently coming really hard after james hardy you see a lot of you know balls thrown at it rocks thrown at it uh, these guys really believe they have the strongest product on the market right now and uh, we decided to put it to the ultimate test to see how many pieces of LP and James Hardy will it take to stop the bullet. So I have Andrew here. Andrew. So a bit of my background, I'm a uh, former Marine Corps scout sniper. I know a little bit about ballistics and bullets. So uh, what I want to do is demonstrate that it's not so much about strength, it's about um, something's ability to absorb energy. So here we have uh, 20 pieces of JP, uh, sorry, uh, James Hardy, and uh, 20 pieces of LP siding. And we're going to see not just which product is the strongest, but which product is best at absorbing impacts. So you can see 20 pieces of LP actually much thicker. So what's your prediction, Andrew? Um, I think I think the uh, the James Hardy, given how brittle it, it, it can be. The bullet may not go very far through the James Hardy, but uh, the force can send kind of a shock in there and actually do kind of a karate shock uh, result on all these boards. I predict maybe the 9 mm would make it about maybe, maybe this far, crack the rest. As for LP, this is very good at absorbing energy. Uh, I think it's going to come out on top. Um, yeah, I would, I would say LP. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's shoot it.
So how many, so let's do, so we have one with a dent, we have two already stopped with the impact. This has got a little bit of a dent. So number two actually stopped and passed number five. The lead is in two. Cool. So it's, so James Hart has stopped number two and then it make little impact on the three and four, but past four, past five, it's clear. There's nothing there. Let's see this guy. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have a, a little, little bit dent. of an impact here. So seven. Well, the winner of bullet test is James Hardy. So here you've seen the first test. What do you think, Andrew, as far as results? Uh, James Hardy surprised me. Um, I, by the feel of it, I didn't think it was going to absorb as much energy as it did, and uh, proved me wrong. So um, the only other factor now would be the shoe rock and the fiberglass in between. So what we did is, uh, for those of you who think that it's not objective to put pieces together, we wanted to do more of a real life test. So right now, we're gonna pretty much we built mini walls. It's two by six walls with the insulation R uh, R19 insulation in between. So you have drywall in the back. Pretty much it's your real life wall, and we're gonna see how many walls with a James Hardy and LP will it take to stop the bullet. Let's. There's only one way to find out. Did it go out? No, you can see the, um, the splash oh, yeah. from the sheet uh, rock here. It looks like it went pretty far back. Okay, so you wanna start at the front? Yeah. So the first one is out. Just let me see the back. Okay, three. Oh! One, two, that was fast. So the bullet is here. Let's see. Where's the bullet? So number three, three walls. Nice. It's better than I thought. Well, pretty much the same as the back to back. Show me the back two. We get first one. Second one. Third one. So number three. Oh, it's a number two. Yeah. Cool. So James Hardy took not two walls and LP took three walls. Is that correct? Let me see it again. So the second wall stopped James Hardy and didn't even make the third. I think it's impact. 
through. Yeah, it just impact, but the bullet actually was here in number two. And LP, it was uh, in number three, right? Yeah, impacted number four. So impacted number four, but went through three walls. So here you have it. LP lost again, bullet test, went through three walls. And James Hardy, second of all, stopped the bullet. So James Hardy is still harder on bulletproof test. So what do you think? Now you know what to install on your house if you live in a bad neighborhood. Let me show you a few things. So this is James Hardy. Pretty much after you know second, third board, most likely the bullet will just stop. And uh, you know, it's pretty impressive. And uh, as you know, siding, because of the overlay, if bullet gets there, it's not gonna even penetrate the house in the first place. So this is the first one. And LP actually looks like it could go even further, just the way the boards are designed. Looks like our bullet just turned in and uh, was trying to change a direction. So if that wouldn't happen, it probably, you know, keep pounding a few more boards. So the purpose of this video, I just want to make clear myself, James Hardy and LP is one of the best products you can install in your house. We want you to make educated decision. If uh, somebody makes a claim they have better puncture, warrants, or, you know, wherever, most likely it's not going to happen in real life and you need to know how those products are rated. But when it comes to exterior products like siding, you should be concerned how it reacts to moisture, to temperature, if you live in, you know, up north, if, if it's really cold in the winter time, what's gonna happen then? Because this guy's here, LP, is gonna expand. James Hardy, over time, shrinks. So they react differently. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to make a few more videos. We're going to have one video about all pros and cons about both products. We're going to talk about their uh, warranties on the paint. We're going to talk about their trim because they're quite different. We still install both. Uh, they're really good choices, but when you make a decision, don't make it because you've seen one commercial and somebody says, hey, this is much stronger. This is not the case. And this is living proof. This is a really good test to show that one actually much better than another, but other one is claiming that they're the strongest. One of those things that you have to kind of look at from all angles, don't listen to that sales guy who are really trying to kill you know, a competitor. Make your educated decision. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, ask questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.